Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today, something a little different. We are in my 2020 Tesla Model 3 and we just received an over there update that allows Tesla full self-driving. So what we are going to do is try it out. Okay, I think, I think we're actually doing it now. Look at that. So we're going to turn to the right. Okay, now it needs to make a turn to the left. You just had to get it set up. I'm covering the brake. Looks clear to me. Very aggressive. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, it's making a left turn. Yeah, I initially didn't turn on full self-driving, apparently. Or didn't acknowledge it properly. Uh, unprotected left turn. There's something coming, coming. I'm covering the brake. It looks clear right. Clear right. Okay. the speed limit which to be perfectly honest is fine with me okay big turn hope you guys can see this here signal is on we are the only people here okay okay we're going all right it's aggressive and I got it on the least aggressive change lane change setting so this is really uh, really interesting um, Again, speed limit's 45, we're going 45. Okay, up to 55. doing anything but touching the wheel occasionally but the nags aren't too bad gotta say this reminds me a little uh, when I first got autopilot or got my 
Tesla in 2019. Okay, what's it gonna do? Okay, someone pulled out in front of it. That's fine, I didn't hit the brakes. I covered the brakes. Exactly what I would have done and applied the, the brakes appropriately. But I was gonna say, this reminds me a lot of when I first got my car. Uh, this is a 2020 Model 3 and I got it on um, in December, on December 7th, 2019, and I remember using autopilot and being sort of uneasy. And this is definitely uh, fits into that category of being uneasy. So, um, but it's doing it, uh, you know, pretty well. slowing down quite a bit. I don't know what 10 miles per hour is. Okay, come on. Speed limit is not 10. Definitely not 10. Thankfully, not much traffic today. These are all country roads. This will be interesting. Coming up on the little town, the little village rather, uh, of Batavia. And we'll see how it does. So I set the speed for 40 miles an hour. Because for some reason you can see it says the speed's actually 10 miles per hour. I assure you that is not accurate. Uh, coming up to 45, let's see if it fixes itself here. Yep. 45. traffic light. And we have a green arrow. Will it see that? Okay. Yellow, red. Stopping here. Creeping up. It's turning right on red. Okay. It's pretty amazing. It's aggressive, it gets going. I think probably more than I would. Let's let you see the big screen here. Okay. Speed limit's 25. interesting turn here no stop just a left turn okay 25 miles per hour did that very well I 
hopefully you can see all of this. So this is my first experience with full self-driving. Well, period. Um, they didn't have, the, have it when I bought my car and I haven't spent the $200 to test it for a month. from 25 You know, it's doing better than I thought it would, to be perfectly honest with you. I know this is version 12, and I know they've been working and testing and, and had, you know, beta testers as far as uh, customers. I get that. But, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, this is working. Um, I'm not sure if it's worth the price. Well, I'll, I'll experiment it with it for the month. I understand that we get a month trial. Um, you know, I always thought that advanced, the um, step up um, autopilot should be the standard autopilot that does the lane changes. That, that would be what I would want. Driving in the city for me doesn't really uh, provide a lot of value, but um, you know, on the highway, lane changes and uh, the like would. far so good just a mile away from my destination okay. pretty aggressive torque there This is certainly not version 4 uh, hardware. This would be, uh, I'm not sure if it's version 2.5 or version 3. Let's see if it uses a turn signal here. Yep. Got somebody behind me. Okay. All right, there you have it. Um, a very short drive, but a sort of a complex drive from a uh, full self-driving standpoint, I would imagine. I Once I figured it out and got everything turned on, it did remarkably well. Um, unprotected left turns. Um, you know, I'm not a dirty Tesla and an expert at this, but I am uh, really thankful to get an opportunity to try it out. I'll definitely do it on the highway and try to use it more and record and let you guys know what I think. Uh, in the meantime, if you've made it this far, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.